Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video with a little uh, BMW 1 Series. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, remove and refit the door panel uh, on the inside of the car. Now, um, I do have a job whereby I need to get into uh, this door and I thought, well I haven't actually done a uh, video on how to fit and remove door panels before and I have had a few people ask me um, for that um, because you know they've gotten on Google or whatever looked for something come across my videos whereby I've done like a motor replacement and stuff like that and I didn't really go into the door panel removal in any great detail so uh, yeah because people have asked for it I thought why not do it so yeah let's uh, let's get amongst it what we will need uh, in order to do this is some plastic pry tools to remove little trim parts and a T20 Torx bit um, and obviously a ratchet if we need to uh, um, apply any torque to, this, to the fasteners. Um, anyway, yeah, enough talking, let's get stuck into it. Okay, getting straight on with it. What we need to do is take our plastic pry tool. Down here, we've got a little cover. Um, and what we need to do is get our plastic pry tool in behind it. And then we are just pop it off like so. You can see it's got like little clips in it. Just pop it off and behind it, you can see a, uh, a Torx head screw. Next, what we're gonna do is take our plastic pry tool again and the trim on the door, hand, on the door pull, we're just gonna pop it in there like so and just gently Leave it, you don't have to lean on it, it'll pop off quite easily. And then pull it off like so. And you can see these little, you can see these little clips in here. Um, each of these has a clip on it. And you can see that that one and that one and that one have all stayed. So one, two, three are missing here. And those two have stayed on the trim. Doesn't matter, you can leave it like that. Um, as long as they are fully seated into their locations, you won't have any problems when it comes to refitting it. So we'll pop that down there. Next, what we need to do is remove the, uh, the switch um, for the window. Okay, taking our plastic pry tool, all we're going to do is lever up at the front of the switch block, get in underneath, there we go, and then once it's up at the front, just pull forward and we'll be able to remove these two lugs at the back. What you're actually trying to overcome is this spring. Now it does like to bend, it should actually be like that. Um, and then once it's out, pull, pull the connector off. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take our Torx bit and we're going to remove screws. As I said before, there's one there. There's also one here at the top of the um, door handle and another one just he in, this, in this little hole here. It's quite hard to see but um, it is in there. So that's three screws we need to remove. Um, I'll start with the one at the top. They're not overly tight, so I don't actually require the ratchet on this occasion. Um, and just pull it out. You don't actually have to completely remove it from the door card, to be honest. Um, and then the next one, make sure it's aligned, and there we go. Like so, and then lastly this one here now all three of these screws are different colors this one ooh, i dropped it it's a little silver one and the two in here i can get one out the two in the handle are long black ones so just remember that they are different in the handle to there right okay next um with all of those screws removed we can actually pop the door panel off the door Okay, as I said, three screws removed, uh, window switch um, removed and disconnected. Take our plastic pry tool now, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically pop it in between the door and the card. And as you can see, it just popped off. We're gonna do that all the way around, and all you're doing is overcoming some little clips, and it comes away really, really easily. Now this, um, this little plug here, allow it to go through the hole, don't worry about that. But at the top, there's some more clips that hold the door card onto the seal, onto this weather seal just here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the top of the door card and just gently pull it away like that. And you can see the clips and then lift it over the top 
of the um, of the door pin for the lock. Okay, there is the cable that went through to the window switch. Disconnect the speaker, just like so. And then here is the pull for the handle. You can see it operating the mechanism there. All we need to do here is just, literally you're overcoming that little clip here, just pull it forward and it will slot out. And you can see in, in the handle itself, you can see where that little plunger part there hooked into and that's all we're doing okay right there's the screw um, that i didn't recover so if i pop that out now i can recover it and there we go right there we are that is the door panel removed and as you can see now we'll have access into the door just by removing this um the waterproof membrane um, that will give us access to the window motors the window regulator etc etc okay right um, guys, that is the removal complete. What I'll do now is I will reverse and refit. Right, first step for refitment is to get the door handle uh, installed correctly. Now this hook here that my little finger is poking into needs to hook behind this in order to be able to operate it. So that when you pull the handle, it does actually pull on the cable. So first things first, we've got to kind of get it in at the front like so push it down and then hopefully as you clip it in it's hooked now we'll know by operating the handle there we go you can see it's operating and if you've got it uh, installed correctly the handle will operate if it doesn't pop it off try again okay next what we'll do is reconnect the speaker now the speakers on these cars on the front um speakers anyway are actually installed onto the door card not onto the door like most cars um, which is uh, a little bit different um, next pull through the cable um, for the window switch and then we're ready to mount the uh, panel onto the door okay first step is to get the door pin for the door lock through its hole which is easier said than done when you're not there we go stand up and it made it much easier right okay now what we need to do is line up the door card at the front on the uh, on the the panel that covers the mirror just like so you can see it's now lined up where it needs to be and it's covering all the clips off what we need to do now is just give it a gentle tap like so and there we are, they are all clipped in. Okay, what we need to do now is exactly the same all the way around and all the clips on the door panel will pop into the door. And there we go, that is all the clips installed and the door handle is operating okay. Right, what we'll do next is we will install the switch for the window. These two lugs in at the back, like so, and then push down at the front till it clips into place. Next, the little silver screw at the back. Screw it in nice and tight. There we go. And then take each of the black ones that go behind the door pull. And again, screw them in nice and tight. One. And two. Next, take our little trim pieces, push them into place. And our trim for our door pull again make sure that all the little clips are seated in the right place either on here or on here doesn't really matter and then line line each one up with their respective clips and then once they're lined up like that pop it on and then make sure it's fully seated there we go that is the door card fitted as you can see Removal and fitment of the door cards on the BMW 1 Series is absolutely simple. Okay, um, the main advice I would give is for things like the trims, don't be tempted to get a screwdriver out because you will mar them up. 
um, you know, uh, a screwdriver is a little bit too aggressive and it will just damage the plastic. Use another plastic tool which is actually slightly softer than the plastic which you're going to use it on and you won't damage, you know, you won't damage the trims. Okay guys, um, this is for the E82, um, the process is the same for the convertible but the, the saloon models are ever so slightly different, they've got slightly different door cards but pretty much identical, you know, the, uh, the trims are, uh, are very very similar and the screws and all that sort of stuff, the switches etc. Um, so yeah, you, you, you should be able to do this on a saloon following this guide. Anyway guys, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like and I'll see you all again for the very next video. Take care guys. Bye bye now.